What? Don't tell me it's too hot for you. No. <laughs> Dude, it's him. Oh, wow. You think he's all right? Evening, Wade. Will it be? Usual, please. So, how'd it go? Sarah was... Well, I guess she wasn't surprised. What about Leon? How'd your little deputy respond to the news? He doesn't know. Oh. Wait! I gotta hear from Mom that you're getting out of Dodge. I always got a call. Who, me? Why, you got another bomb shuttle drop? Leon. This isn't the place. <laughs> when is the place then, huh? Where are we supposed to have? The hell is this place anyway? Well, it's a gay bar. Great. <laughs> That's just great. Your old man here is a bit of a local legend. So what, are you some kind of top quality queer? Your pa, he's won our pepper eating contest five years in a row. Well, he's our capsation class champ. Five years. You've been coming here for five years. <laughs> About seven years now. It, it took me a while to become the champ. Jesus fucking Christ. You really think you're hot shit, don't you? Hanging out here with your buds while you, you lie like a goddamn coward to your family, huh? I didn't lie. Bullshit, you didn't lie. Even right now, you can't admit it. I knew something was going on this whole time. Yeah, well, now you know. These folks act like you're some kind of celebrity, huh? But they don't know the man you are. You're nothing. You know, I'll prove it to everybody here. I'll beat you at your own damn game. Now listen here, friend. What you're proposing? Well, that's just not something that can be taken back. I mean it. I invoke the capsation clash. <laughs> Deal. Tonight is a wonderful example of why we have this competition. You see, Billy's Bar is a watering hole filled with bonhomie and camaraderie. God. As the reigning champ, your pa can't refuse a challenge to the title. So if you beat him fair and square, that title is yours. This is so stupid. You started this, son. Not too late to walk away. You want to cut and run? Just give me the damn pepper already. We'll start off easy. This is from my Matildi crop. 350,000 Scoville heat units. Matildi was my ex-wife. Sean, boy wants a challenge. Let's just get right into it. Well, all right. Vicente Fernandez, the hot Mexican. He was the one that got away. 750,000 Scovilles. Let's do this. This is Rudolph. 1.5 million Scovilles. <coughs> you want to stop, you say so. But no, no way. The waterworks. Two million Scovilles. Ooh, 
Careful, son. This is so dumb. Could have just let me be. No, you don't get to implode on everything and then just go back to pretending. I didn't pretend. Yes, you did. It was all fake. Everything you told mom and I was a lie. I said I didn't lie. This is the encore. Ooh, pepper so nice. I taste it twice. Getting tired, old man. Shut up and eat. Done yet? Fuck no, not until you apologize. What did, what did mom do to deserve this? I know I hurt her, but she understands me. And she always suspected. Did she also know that you were sneaking out to a gay bar every Friday instead of poker night? I just said, she and I, we, is this even about her? It's about you being a goddamn coward. When you were younger, remember, you, you, you would, you would call me sheriff, and you were my deputy. What happened, son? Don't call me your son. Gentlemen, you two have consumed nearly every pepper I've ever devised. I have only one left. This pepper has no name. It has never been consumed by anybody. And truthfully, I'm not sure what will happen to you if you do eat it. All I know I estimate its potency to be nearly five million Scovilles. Now, I'm not gonna make you eat them, but if one of you wants to be the winner of this little showdown, well, not too late to back down. Liam. Milk! Uh, I can't breathe. <coughs> Leon. <coughs> Drink this. Uh, Y'all happy, huh? You satisfied, entertained, yeah? I win. Deputy. When you were coming into this world, at that time, and at that place, your mom and I, we needed each other. And you needed me more than anyone. She didn't need you. But we, we chose to do this together. I couldn't leave her and you alone. But now you can? All you're doing is causing us pain. Jesus Christ, you're fucking 50 years old. Shouldn't you have your shit together by now? First of all, I'm 46, not 50. And it's not like you turned 40 and suddenly stopped changing. I'm still figuring out who I am. So now you gotta figure it out. I'm getting there. And that's life. The getting there. And yeah, this place, it's helped me. I'm not asking you to like it, but it is part of who I am. Why couldn't you just tell me? Coming here all these years, I, I've heard all the stories about how they tell their families and then they never talk again. 
I did not want that to happen to us. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This this hasn't been easy for me. Dad. <laughs> What's wrong with you? You, uh, you eat one of those peppers or something? It's just so moving. Oh. Oh, come here. Thank mm -hmm. you. 